Hello everybody. Okay, so this video is going to be how to do uh, number 82 from chapter four. And this is the one where we're, there's a boat crossing a river and you know, based on its speed and how fast the river is going, how far down does it go? Um, so it says there's a 200 meter uh, wide river, uniform flow of speed, so it's the, the, all the water is moving at the same speed that's important, 1.1. Uh, the explorer wants to leave a small boat uh, a small clearing on the south bank across the river, and then they give you the speed. There's a clearing on the north bank, 82 meters upstream from a point directly opposite the clearing on the south bank. So upstream, by the way, means going opposite the direction of that the stream is flowing. You know, 200 meter wide river in this case, right? 200 meters, it's a really big stream. Uh, okay, so sometimes it's good to have a sketch as well as a diagram. So let's do the sketch first. We're going to imagine here's the river. It's 200 meters wide. And, uh, you know, he's starting from here. He wants to go, the, the river is flowing this way. We'll say this is the flow of the river. And he wants to go this way. And 82 meters over here, this is where the landing is that he's trying to get to. Um, and so the question is, in what direction must he, must, must he point the boat, and how long will it take the boat to cross the river? So there are two questions here. Okay. And then what are the other pieces of information we have? The flow is 1.1 meters per second. Uh, again, this is 82 meters. And we know the boat can go 4 meters per second. Is the V of the boat. Now, important to realize that's the velocity of the boat relative to the water. The water itself is moving. So what the boat's velocity will be relative to the shore is a, is a different matter, right? Um, that'll kind of depend on some other factors here. Um, and so what we need is, is really a, uh, like a triangle. Now, there are two different triangles that we could draw. We could draw a triangle that shows us distances. Um, and even the distance triangles, there are two triangles that we could draw. One would be the triangle relative to the shore. The other would be the triangle relative to the river. The river itself is moving. When the boat goes 82 meters upstream, that's relative to the shore. But it has to travel more than 82 meters upstream relative to the river. Right? So, um, you know, the, it's, it's got to go upstream. The river's going in the other direction. So even the, the, um, the distance triangle that we could draw would have those two different um, ways of looking at it. And the same is true for a velocity triangle. You know, the horizontal velocity, the vertical velocity, the angle velocity, in order to be able to figure out the angle and the time and that sort of thing. The way I approach this problem, and I think there's more than one solution to this, but the way that I approach it is I drew a distance triangle um, based on the relative to the water, right? Um, so this, this is, it's 200 meters across, so that was easy to draw, right? Now, upstream, I know I have to go 82 meters upstream plus the uh, velocity, so plus the, the distance, the extra distance that the river has gone past the boat. And so that's expressed. So 82 meters, that's the distance upstream relative to the shore. And then this is the extra distance that the river moves past the boat as the boat is moving upstream. 1.1 is the velocity of the river. So that times the time. We don't know the time, but whatever the time is, that's going to uh, be multiplied by the velocity of the river. And we'll be able to get that extra distance that the river traveled under the boat, we could say, as it was going 82 meters upstream relative to the shore. And then this triangle, or the, uh, the hypotenuse, you could say, is four meters per second t. That's the velocity of the boat. This is all relative to the water, right? Um, so relative to the water, the boat is moving four meters per second. And then that times the total time it takes, which is the same as this t. So I only have one unknown here in the, the t. Uh, that'll give me that distance relative to the water. Realize that that 
that hypotenuse, if I wanted to draw that hypotenuse relative to the shore, that would be more challenging because it's not just four meters per second t, it would be four meters per second minus, you know, the cosine of whatever the angle is, and we don't know the angle yet. So um, there might be a way to do that, but this is the way that, that I've chosen to go about it. So now I can, I can just use the um, Pythagorean theorem to solve this. So the Pythagorean theorem would be four t squared equals and then the legs, right? 82 plus 1.1 t squared plus 200 squared. Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. <clears throat> so I'll spare you working out the details every step of the arithmetic here, but we end up with 16 t squared equals 46,000 724, I think that's what that says, plus 180.4t plus, I think that's a 1.21t squared. Get it all on one side, so zero equals negative 14.8t squared. So I'm putting it in normal, uh, you know, ax squared plus bx plus c format plus 180.4 plus 46,724. Now you use the quadratic formula and you solve. So it's, it's that simple. Just use the formula and you, it comes out to, you solve for t, right? That's what you're solving for here. Oh, I left out the t on the 180.4, sorry. And t turns out to be 62.6 seconds. Now I've answered question B, this is B. You don't, and this is important to realize too, you know, like the AP test, any test, any question that you're answering, you don't have to answer them in order, question A and then question B. You look at it and you gotta think to yourself, working out all these details and organizing it in your mind, um, what, which is the easiest one for me to solve? Um, and for me, when I was solving this, this was the way that it occurred to me to do this. I was like, well, I can figure out the time because I've, I can draw this triangle and get it that way. And then once you have the time, now you've got the, the sides of this triangle. You can put in time and then you can use sine, cosine, tangent, any of those to figure this out. So what did I do? I used uh, tangent for some reason. Well, I guess I'm using the 200, that's helpful. So I said inverse tan, inverse tangent, 82 plus 1.1t. So I took the, so from this what angle am I looking at here? I guess I'm looking at this angle. Does it ask specifically? In what direction must the boat be pointed uh, in this air travel? So I guess I can say just the angle from the perpendicular to the river. Over 200, we plug in the value for T, 62.6, and this ends up being 37 degrees. So a couple of key things to point out here about a problem like this, when you're, uh, one, draw a diagram. This is uh, when you've got things that are moving, one thing moving relative to another, all these angles, it's two dimensional, draw a diagram. With some of the other problems, the, the diagram ended up being the, um, the sketch and the diagram were the same thing, right? So we had a sketch here, we did a sketch first, and then we have the diagram it just helps you to visualize the problem, get all the information down, organize the information. One of the challenges with a complex problem is just organizing the information, organizing the numbers, the meaning of the numbers, and uh, the picture, right? Spatially, what's actually happening here. Physics is about uh, space, you know, things happening in space, and things that can be represented using spaces, like vector spaces and, um, you know, different types of graphical spaces, etc. Um, so getting those visuals is really helpful. So draw, draw a sketch, draw a diagram, organize that information. You don't have to solve it in order. You can do question B first and then question A. Um, and then as always, pay attention, like, you know, does, does the answer that you get kind of make sense, right? In this case, it does. 62.6 seconds, yeah, that makes sense. Traveling at an angle upstream, four meters per second, 200 meters across, yeah, and 37 degrees, sounds good. Okay, so 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have to say that on YouTube. It's like a requirement.